Guys, most people don't have large budgets. So why not I show you today the cheapest build for home, office and mild occasional gaming like GTA 5 in lowest FPS but playable without a graphics card. Hello everyone, today we are building this cheapest PC at Shy Infotech Panvel along with two free components. So watch till the end. Yes, you got it right, it's third generation Intel Core i5 processor. Now I know most of you guys might be thinking, why so old CPU? You know na, this is the cheapest build. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you the benchmark 2 in the end. The next component is S61 motherboard from PowerX. Coming to RAM, it's 8GB DDR3 from RX. Speed will be around 1600MHz. For storage, we are using Gigabyte SSD of 480GB. With the strict budget, we suggest you with the cabinet and power supply combo from LiveTech. So, it's time to build. Let's get started. Let's open the motherboard box. There is one SATA cable, IO shield, driver CD, but who wants it? When the drivers are gonna be updated automatically. Motherboard looks of decent quality and it has a NVMe slot too. It has two RAM slot. Let's open the processor. It has four physical cores and four threads with clock speed up to 3.6 GHz. Guys, 3.6 GHz is not less. It can perform beyond your expectations. Be careful while installing the processor. Do not accidentally bend any pin. Okay, so as you know, you need to match the arrow sign on the processor with the motherboard and then lock it. Let's open the RAM and install it. Once you get the click sound, you are done. Let's take out the CPU fan from Frontech and install it. Let's open up the cabinet. Let's install the IO shield. Again, be careful guys, it has a sharp edges. Installing it is fairly easy. Just push from inside and it will be in its position. Now let's screw up the motherboard and cabinet. Let's connect the front panel cables. You can additionally refer the manual of motherboard for this small socket connections. Let's connect the audio jack and USB jack on the motherboard. It's time to connect the PSU cables on motherboard. Now let's open and install the 480GB SSD from Gigabyte. It has some manual, but is it of any use? Nay. Okay, now connecting power and SATA connections on SSD and screwing up the SSD on its location. We will do the cable management later. Let's now connect the CPU to our monitor and do some installations. Installing windows, creating the partition. Guys, let's install and play the GTA 5. Wow, guys, is it not good in the cheapest price for students who cannot afford the latest gen builds? And you can see guys, lag is very minimal. Hope you like this cheapest PC build under 9000 wherein we are offering keyboard mouse combo and CPU fan for free. And of course, all these parts are covered under standard warranty. More details is in description. Friends, please subscribe and take good care for you and your loved ones.